welcome to this morning's press briefing. Uh, first and foremost, uh, quick post-mortem on yesterday and a status update. We conducted primaries in five counties yesterday, as you all saw. Uh, reports from the ground indicate that this was a largely successful exercise. Uh, counting started promptly in the evening upon closure of the polling stations on site. We did not move any voting material off site. And uh, from what I can see from the media reports, uh, you members of the press are more on top of it than even I am. I'm seeing real time flow of results, which is a situation akin to the general election. And uh, we are proud of your maintaining this real-time coverage of the tallying exercise. So we continue to monitor that exercise. We thank you for partnering with us in bringing results from all over the country, from all political parties. And these results continue to trickle in. What we've witnessed is the large turnout that we spoke about has been vindicated by the votes we've seen cast. And we thank our voters for expressing themselves at the ballot box uh, in such uh, a vigorous manner. Today, uh, we have an exercise that now is triple the size of yesterday's exercise in that we are covering 16 counties. Materials for these 16 counties went on site yesterday uh, over the course of the night, these materials were properly segregated and delivery continued to the polling station level. And voting has commenced and will continue to keep you updated. As with yesterday, we are continuing to maintain the same real-time monitoring of the voting exercise and dealing with any hitches experienced similarly in real time. We're responding to any situations by continuing to keep in touch with the NEB members on the ground and the county election board members, together with the returning officers on, at every constituency and at county level. And we'll continue to update you. We pray that it, this exercise goes on successfully and that we experience a similarly large, large turnout at all these polling stations. Now, one issue we would like to readdress and emphasize is the issue that constantly arises with the voter register. I would like to restate for the avoidance of any doubt in the minds of any voter and in the minds of any of our presiding officers and clerks that if a member of the Jubilee Party turns out to vote, they will first and foremost check our register as we stated, if the name is not on the register and that individual has a valid national identity card, they should be allowed to vote. Their names will be entered on the register. There's no refusal. Under no circumstances should there be any refusal of an individual being allowed to vote. Reports are still trickling in that this is happening in some instances. And I want to repeat this for the avoidance of any doubt countrywide for all our staff and all voters and members of the Jubilee Party to note. Finally, I'd like at this point to express our gratitude to our aspirants, to our basic, uh, the members of the party, to all the volunteers who are helping us with this mammoth exercise today. The party wishes to express its sincere gratitude for the sacrifice you have all made. And we are praying, as I said, for a successful day today, which will lead us on in the same momentum to be able to deliver valid, credible, and free and fair elections for the Jubilee Party. Thank you very much. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, madam. Yes, Jackie. See, Jackie, there's uh, a, a coin that has two sides. All right, so this, that's Andrew Musangi, who's the chair of the uh, National Elections Board for Jubilee Party, uh, just giving an update of uh, the processes taking place uh, throughout uh, the uh, 19 constituent counties rather, that are take, having their primary 